Good evening, everyone. It's Monday night, and welcome to the Tilt and Talk Show, sponsored by Small Affordable Cars. I'm Paul Hickey, and tonight we're joined by Mark Adams. Hello, everybody. Good to be here. Watson. Good evening. Claire Gibling. Good evening. Craig Courtney. Good evening, everyone. And last but not least, again, the main man, Chris Brown. Good evening. We have no Mark Meredith tonight. He's uh, looking up at the sky with a Jägermeister, trying to look out for an eclipse, apparently. So, uh, so no Mark Meredith tonight. <laughs> um, an eclipse or a full moon? Because by the time he's had so much Jäger, it'll definitely be a full moon. I think you're I right, yeah. be a Craig. <laughs> <laughs> so another defeat at Leicester at the weekend and another late um, winner con- you know, conceded after the 85th minute and more disappointment for us. But... Uh, Rob, I'll start with you, mate. I believe you were there, so give us your thoughts yeah. on on that game. Um, well, it wasn't exactly a shock result. Um, you know, we we huffed and puffed. We didn't really create a lot. We was probably expected at a place like Leicester. Um, we we matched them for energy. We we got stuck in. We were committed. We just switched off again. Um, and regardless of whether you play Leicester or whether you're playing Rotherham or whoever, you can't switch off like that in the in the last few minutes and expect to come away with something. So in the end, yeah. it was a really sloppy goal to give away for the winner. Um, we were looking good for a point, and we'd have beat your hand off for a point. Um, we weren't embarrassed, and there's some positives going into Wednesday. I really do think, you know, we, we keep up that tempo, and we're going to be fine on Wednesday. Um, yeah, yeah. It's I just like, it's like, like, yeah, it's like to be honest, Paul. It's like a punch in the stomach to lose like that. You know, yeah. To go somewhere like Leicester and be so close to getting a really good point. Um, so yeah, I'm not totally, uh, you know, totally downtrodden. I'm, I'm looking forward to Wednesday because I think I think we've got a really good chance of being Cardiff. Um, so I mean, I mean, man of the match for me was Ruddy, just simply for those saves. But I have mm. to give a shout out to uh, Sanderson as well. I know he's had a few dodgy games, but he was like a rock on Saturday. He played really, really well. Uh, I'm not yeah. saying he's the answer long term, but we've got to give him a shout out. He was superb, I thought. So well, we uh, I don't know. Yeah. We, we need fighters now, don't we, Mark? For the last five games now, they've all got to roll the sleeves up and play for the, the whole 95, 97, 98, 100 minutes. However long the game is, we need them to concentrate for that period of time, you know, and give 110% and not switch off mm. for a split second. Because at the moment, that's what's costing us. It's cost us a lot of late winners. And also, the basics of defending is, you know, close the man down. When the ball's out wide with the opposition, close the man down and stop the cross, yeah. from, stop the cross from coming in. If the cross don't yeah. come in, can't score. That's you know, it. It's basic. You've got, you've got to hunt them in packs when you haven't got the ball. You've got to have urgency, and you've got to hunt them in packs and close them down quickly. Um, you know, do you agree with that, Claire? Yeah, I think um, I agree with Robe. To be fair, we weren't thinking a draw would be a really good result. Um, yeah. We weren't out of the game. We, I think, we matched them again. We played them at our place. We only lost three two. The cup will ignore because they played. You know, they didn't have their strongest team. Um, I think that, you know, we've lost 2-1 against a side that is aiming for promotion. If they don't go up, it will be a shock that they don't go up. Yeah. It's it's the fact that a quarter of our goals are after 80 minutes, and I don't really know. It's a shame, really, that Mark Meredith isn't here to ask that question of how do you solve that in training sessions? Yeah. Because there must be something that happens halfway through the game or oh, halfway through that half, that then all of a sudden they think that they're coasting. It's so frustrating, yeah. you know, and a lot of it happens away from home and it's just a sickener, really. But, you know, if you're Huddersfield and you're these other teams that are watching us, they're going to play us, you would surely leave your best, some of your best players on the pitch and bring them on after 75 minutes because you know, actually, you're going to get an opportunity. And mm. I just think it wasn't the result it wasn't the result that was the problem. The problem was is that it was the 88th minute and that Huddersfield scored in the 94th. That yeah. was thickener. And we've just got to go again. I don't understand all the negativity. I think it's worry that the negativity yeah. is. I yeah, think yeah. the good thing is, is that everybody plays on Tuesday. So on Wednesday, we will know what we have to do. We've got to start winning some games. It, am I worried? Of course I am. But we've got, I think Cardiff is winnable, Huddersfield and Rotherham are winnable. Yeah. Um, I think Coventry and Norwich are the two games, they're actually playing for something. But will Norwich be relaxing like Fulham did 
that few years ago? And will they be waiting for the playoff semi-finals and things like that? So am I worried? Yes. Do I think that we disgraced ourselves? No. Could we have done better? Definitely. But I think defensively is where we're really lacking. And I think fair play to Jay Stansfield. I mean, half of us didn't even know it went in because we all were just... <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really know it went in. Um, yeah, it was just a weird goal. But you know what? That's a bit of luck that we wanted. And yeah. then all of a sudden, we don't get the full luck. So we got to start making it and we got to get it bouncing on Wednesday. But I'm not disappointed about the result. I'm more disappointed about the defending. And it was Lair's fault, to be fair. But Yeah. I mean, I think I think drama, in my opinion, is too good to miss out on the team. You know, he should be starting. He's probably a better, in all, in my honest opinion, if I had to be, choose between him and Laird a right back, I probably would choose drama. I'm not going to lie, but I think you know, I quite liked it when they had them both in the team. You know, I think Laird was left back, drama was right back, and we had Buchanan and Iwu, or you could do it with Buchanan and Sanderson as well, because Buchanan is a class act and he's our best defender. Yeah. And it, you know, yeah. I just think at centre half, it gives us that balance with with his left foot. Just for these five games, and I think we were, you know, we only conceded, like I said before, one legal goal. Um, you know, the goal at Hull when there yeah, was on ball. Um, yeah. But I mean, Alan, it's obviously a combination of things, isn't it? While we're in this mess over the whole season, not just Huddersfield getting the late winner the other the other day, is it? You know. Well, it's it's you know, such law, isn't it? Uh, I, I would just, uh, I mean, I completely. Uh, agree with everything that's been said, but I just uh, uh, again since since Saturday I've been thinking about something, and 15 minutes ago we're rock solid. They're they're looking for you know they're looking to find a way to break us down and they can't, and we substitute uh, two front men for Dembele and Hogan. Now instead of having Ten blokes behind the ball fighting for king and country and all the rest of it. We get the two idlest so and sos on the planet on the pitch. And if you think where the cross came from for the for the winner, uh, somebody somebody should have been closing him down. And and Dembele was put on the pitch instead of the bloke who was closing that bloke down, and was nowhere to be seen. Uh, Hogan did. I mean, the two substitutes didn't touch the ball. I don't think in, in the ten or fifteen minutes they were on. So what were they on for? You know, mm. chase around and knock people over and 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 and, and slow the game. But well, well, they did nothing. Now that's nothing new with Birmingham. We, we, we've 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 talked to, you know, all through the season, we've stuck different people on in different situations. Uh, with a goal down, we need a goal, and we stick so and so on, and he never touches the ball. And you think, what was it? What was the point of that? Um, and 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 sadly, that was that was the one thing that I didn't think of it immediately. It was something I mulled over over the over the weekend, and I thought, yeah, where was, where where were those two? You know, they they weren't behind the ball. They never went anywhere near the ball. Um, mm. And I don't like I don't like slagging people off and pointing the finger. You know, I, I, I say, well, Mr. Manager, you made that decision. And quite honestly, it, it mystified me at the time. And the more I thought about it, the more wrong it was. Um, and I just, didn't we do that? QPR, we, we took um, uh, Bakuna off okay. and, and we, we threw different, I can't remember who, who but what, we Todd, then, was it Todd, Todd Roberts huh? came up. Todd Roberts, I think, came up. Or did Todd Roberts start? I can't remember. He started. Mm. He started. Yeah, he started. <laughs> um, but we we, uh, we don't we we don't we don't we don't we don't man the lifeboats like this is it. We 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 got a point here, and we ain't going away without it. That that it, it seems to five minutes ago. I think, oh, we've done it. You know, we've and then the concentration goes, uh, and, and and people come on. Okay, uh, particularly um, uh, Stansfield, he was on his knees. Okay, but why put 
you know, you know, you don't think you're going to score another goal. So why put why put Hogan on at all? You, know, you could have you could have put uh, another midfield player. Um, you know, and have and have eleven blokes behind the ball for the last five minutes. But we didn't. We we, we left two up. Um, yeah. let, let, I mean, let's pick the bones out of the. The, the two goals. I mean, sc- a scary stat here from Jason Hughes. We've conceded 15 goals after the 76th minute this season. That is, that has got to be addressed urgently. If, 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 if we are going to stay up, then we need to cut that out because if we don't, yeah. in the last few times, we could go down. Mm. You know? um, Especially when you're only scoring one goal a game. Yeah. But, mm. you well, know, yeah, you, exactly. you, you, you've got to keep a clean sheet to yeah. win. Yeah. Mm done that for a long while. We did that against Preston, but that was the first time, I think, since Blackburn before that, wasn't it? In about nine yeah, games. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but Craig, I mean, the first goal, you know, I blew, he tried to clear it, didn't he? He just come off Jordan James and fell to their guy and then he squared it to Dewsbury Hall and just slapped away. But do you think that was well, unlucky? Do you think I could have done a bit better there? I think, the, the, again, it, it, it keeps, at the moment, seems to be getting the, the non-rubber to green because if you look at a few goals that we've conceded over the past few games, QPR took a nick off him. Um, the yeah. game the other day, you know, should he have cleared it better? Yeah, but was it just... At the end of the day, was it also a good strike? The answer is, is yes. You know, he, I still look at it in terms of the fact that across the whole of the game, I thought, you know, we weren't we weren't better than them, but at times we were equal, and and you know it was it was actually pleasant to watch because I think part of it was the it was almost like a, a free hit, dare we say, going into the game. Um, yes, we we've been beat, but we've been beat by the team that's top of the league, and as Claire said, should be promoted. Um, yeah, I, I, somebody put on on Facebook the other day that that was a hundred million pound squad mm. that they've got at, at Leicester. You, you know, we're we're not even probably a tenth of that when you when you look at our playing structure and what we've paid for our players. Mm. So, for us to be in the situation where we held them, and you know, actually after the, after our goal. We, we were on. I thought we were on top. I thought yeah, you know, yeah, there was yeah. a, a definite change in, in impetus, and the fans also started going against Leicester. So, yes, strange decision on the substitutions, but you know, to go back to Alan's point, there, uh, stick on a, def- uh, a midfielder or another defender to instead of a, a striker. I think Rowett did say himself, perhaps he should have brought uh, Gary Gardner on. To, to sure up midfield. Then also, I look at it from the point of view of we don't want to concede a goal. If we've got somebody that can outlet and run with a ball, it's better than having five or six sitting back and, and having to defend against them because we conceded at the end of it through a very poor set of defending at the far post. There was no, no other way. Mm. You know, nothing at all. Um, Laird has hand his, held his hands up and said, I think, you know, pretty much I, I was at fault. Now what I want to see on Wednesday night is Laird coming up with a man of the match performance, mm. you know, and, and and I'd love nothing more than know Claire would be absolutely in heaven if he scored a goal, but I would love nothing more than, than him to have that man of the match performance. I wouldn't change anything going into Wednesday. I think the team that started that, that first half... And arguably, 65, 70 minutes of the game was was actually pretty sturdy and put up against teams in and around us would do well. Um, I, I still I still think we're... Uh, and I don't want to shoot myself in the foot here, but I still think we're too strong to go down. I think we're, we've just got that, that little bit extra over the teams that are in and around us. Tomorrow night is key because... The teams that are below us uh, and, and those that are around us that are in this relegation fight are playing then. So, you know, if we can go into Wednesday and have a set of results that have gone on our, in our favour on Tuesday, there's added impetus. Shouldn't be a need for a, for a team talk, for example, going into Wednesday. You know, if those teams haven't got results and we can not only get out of it, but can go a couple of places clear of it in the league, 
then that that should be all the talking that's that's needed. Um, and, and do I believe that they will be fired off? Hell yeah! You know we've got two massive games, huge mm. games. They're both cup finals coming up. Mm. Um, Coventry, they're fighting for that final playoff spot. You know they want to be in and around it. But the following week they've got an FA Cup semi final. So what team will we see? We don't know. Um, personally, I think we'll see a strong Coventry side because was, he's better. Yeah, was, you know, he's got more chance of winning, getting promoted than they have of winning the FA Cup. You know, we've got to be honest. Um, but we'll we'll see. But on a, on both both occasions, if we have teams that come at us, then I think that that will play into our favour. And we can get the goals that we need to get us out of it. I, I just, I just, I just, I still look. I know we lost on Saturday, but I still look at all the positives to take away from it. You know, every single fan stayed in the ground and applauded that team off the pitch. Mm-hmm. There wasn't anybody that turned against them or anything else. Yes, there was disappointment, but people were there applauding them off. That's that's our hardcore fans. You know, that, mm-hmm. those hardcore fans. What we need is that atmosphere that was generated at Leicester. We need those fans to be drumming up and generating that atmosphere on Wednesday. We hmm. need a five. Definitely. Um, you know, Jesus, season ticket holders, 15 quid a ticket for other fans to come down <laughs> to the game. You haven't got a ticket and you want to go, write to me. I'll give you my reference number. I'll get you the tickets. You know, let's, let's pack it out. Hmm. Same on Saturday. Coventry hmm. have got, I think, 2,000. 2,000, yeah. I've got, right. We can fill St Andrews and we can make a racket and we need to. Um, so, plain and simple for me, I think positive. And until it's mathematically not possible for us to get out of it, we're not relegated and I won't think negatively um, because my saying is negativity breeds negativity. So, Are you worried? Are you worried? Honestly, no. And really? I know I might sound really daft, but... It does. I just feel, I, I just, there's that little bit this season that I don't think we've had in the past. And yes, I know we've had fighters in the past and, and scrappers that have been there. This time around, we have the quality to get us the goals. What we've got to do is we need the clean sheets. We need that defence to be solid, like it was against Preston. And in that second half, when mm. nothing, nothing was getting past us. And actually, Part of the Leicester game was exactly the same. I mean, Jesus, we had one one particular time when we had a goalkeeper going after the ball, four defenders going after the ball, and we cleared our lines. That's what we need to see every single time. Um, and somebody has to somebody has to take a drubbing. Somebody has to has to concede the goals against us. It can't yeah. be one yeah, again. Sorry, Craig. You need you need leaders in a situation like this. You need you need leaders on the field. You need fighters out there who are going to basically, you know, carry the team and everyone else with them. And we don't have one, in my opinion, in that eleven. There's not one out there. You know, uh, it's good that we've got Robbo back and Gary Rowett and that now. And hopefully yeah. they would be enough to. I do have faith in them doing it for us. But the players on the field, you know, when you need someone to roll their sleeves up, we do have players that get stuck in. Don't get me wrong. They are, and, and I think in the three games under Rowett so far, there's a big big difference in. You know, we're competing in the games, aren't we? A lot more, and mm. lot, we, are, yeah. we are. Yeah. Go on, Mark. Sorry, sorry, Paul. I was going to say, I think there's a like a newfound. En- I know we haven't got the results, but there's like an energy which we've tapped into, and that's yeah. feeding into the fans as well. It was there on Saturday, anyway. Um, but, yeah, but I'd rather stick yeah. the play. I'd rather stink the place out and, and win one 0 You know what I mean? Yeah. Some, mm. I honestly don't care about all this tippy tappy pretty football. No. Never have, never will. It's a results no. business, and now we need results more than ever. Yeah, um, yeah. We were not good enough to play this tippy tappy stuff. I've been no. calling it for ages. Just get it up the field. You got Billy who can win a header. You got Laird who can win a header. We start now. Need to just start playing simple, basic football. Get just, it up the pitch. Just, I've got to admit, it? though. Yeah, I've got to admit though that the football now compared to the old Rowett era is vastly different, which mm. I think is yeah. great. I generally think he's taken a bit of Mowbray ball there as well. Mm. You know, it's. We've got to start scoring some goals. I'm fed up with this 1-0. Um, do you know what? If, you, if it hits off somebody's leg or an own goal or whatever, I'm happy with the 1-0. Don't get me wrong. As soon as they score, you worry that we're not we're not going to win. 
because we can't see yeah. the score more. And we, we keep saying goals. on here, we're going to give someone a battering, we're going to score loads of goals. I can't, can, can you see it now? Because I can't oh. see it now. Um, you know, I think Mike's thought, is it time to include having 21 stars on the bench? I don't know. Who would you leave out, though? That's the problem. Would you leave out someone like Gary Gardner, who might add a little bit of experience? I mean, Hogan came on. He was like he was going for a jog down the road. He did, and he showed mm. nothing today. Do you know what I mean? He showed no, come on, lads. Come on, come on. Like we, got, we can keep this. Dembele loses the ball again. And I was saying this earlier before we came on. It's lovely seeing all the players shooting in, you know, on social media. It's lovely seeing them having banter. That time's now gone. I'm sorry, mm. lads. We've got five games to stay in the championship. You've mm. got to start playing for the fans now and for your own contracts and for your own actual, you know, careers here. Yeah. Because we are now deep in it. And I don't want to see what Dembele can do in training because you don't do that in a game. I don't right. want to see, you know, oh, what a lovely goal by Pritchard. He's not doing it in the game. Do you see where I'm coming from? And he's all laughing and joking, la, 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 la. That time should go now. And we, we now need to see this is us working hard. We're right on it. We're in game face. We're doing this. We're doing that. Because I'm fed up of going away every week, spending thousands and then turning up and we're losing all the time. Yeah. Do you see us laughing and joking about it in the stand? Mm. You probably won't. Sorry, my rant's over. No, Claire, you're absolutely right. And, you know, people make a lot of financial sacrifices to go and watch, yeah. you know, exactly. watch this play. Yeah. And they, need to, they just need a bit of a wake-up call in that respect as well. You know, they need to yeah. realise, you know, they need to realise who they're representing here and who they're playing for at times. Because it's, you know, it's like, so like, it's like, 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 it's, 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 it's No, I mean, like I say, it's, it's a big fight. The world's expensive in general, and, and mm. going down the blues is a massive, massive part of our lives that we sacrifice a lot to go. Whether yeah. you go to every home game, whether you can just get to a few, whether you go away, whatever, it's a massive chunk of our lives that we we put everything into, and they need to start yeah. doing it as well. You know, yeah. give us a bit of bit, give us a bit of commitment. Yeah, but the, yeah one, one, well, another reason I'm more concerned now is because, and I know he's 34 now, but I'll tell you now, for these last five games, if we could. We should be sticking Djokovic up front with Stansfield and, you know, aiming for him because, you know, yeah. God bless him, kept us up so many times in the past. And I think if he wasn't injured this time, yeah. he probably would have been the perfect partner for Stansfield by these last five games, even if it was only for an hour, and then take him off. You That's... know, he would, have been, he would have been the leader out there with the armband on that I would have had to get us through this again. You know, just yeah. for one last one song. But unfortunately, he's got that injury and I don't think he's going to play again this season. So no, no, this is why I'm more concerned. Because you know who's going to be our saviour? Who, who's the who's the player that's going to be the hero here? Yeah. Can I? Uh, I'll give my psycho psycho babble a bit of a go here. Ask yourselves, as people, what what gets you motivated? If I came up to you and say, "Paul, oh, that was the shittiest introduction I've ever heard. <laughs> sort your bloody self out." Now you think oh, that would be unfair because it was good, and you said. <laughs> What's that, what's that silly old bastard talk? Excuse me, my friend. Silly old so and so. And, and you, you, I'll show that so and so, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I, I think that's, that's how I'd look at it because I, I think there is a, uh, a contentment within the tide. Oh, we was unlucky again when we sat there. Oh dear, didn't we do well? No, you bloody didn't. You conceded yeah. a stupid goal. And, you know, whoever, if you think it was Les fault, you stick your finger under his nose and say, you, you lazy so-and-so, what your bloody hell is doing? And if he goes, oh, oh sorry, boss. Uh, you want him to come back at you and say, what are you, no, you know, but, you know, I, I've seen you play for Birmingham, you're a bloody crap, you know. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Annoy him. Frighten him. Whatever. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I can't think, uh, 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 being nice, uh, I mean, uh, when um, uh, uh, Gary Ray started, he started to uh, butter them up a bit, trying to convince them that, yeah, you know, you're better players than, than your results are suggesting. But if you keep suggesting that the results aren't good enough, somebody has got to say to them, your results ain't good enough. And yeah. you play for this club, we pay an awful lot of money. So get your bloody finger out. And yeah. 
if that could come from within, it'll be even better. You know, Stansfield is a, he's a, not Stansfield, uh, Sanderson, right? He's always gives an impression. He's giving everything he's got. He might make a cock up here, there, and everywhere. But he's 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 at it. You know, you always feel you know he he's the one that's at it. So somebody has got to make him, or somebody like him, the leader. Because he could say, you know, he say to Awu or or one of the other defenders, pointing the finger, saying, "Well, where the, you know, was you there then?" Mm. And that person will come back and say, "Well, I was looking after you yourself." I'm getting riled up, you know. Apparently, uh, 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 there were there was there was uh, arguments on the training ground uh, between certain people, uh, which had had the effect of improving. Uh, things, especially in our defence, and and the, t- the the two people I was told that had the punch up before the next game cuddled each other before they started. So something must have happened. Something must have got you know they've they've had a go at each other, and they've settled the differences, and they've said right, you're right. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna improve. We're gonna do better. Yeah. Now, it- that works, though, Alan, what you're saying, reverse psychology. You know, you want, you want to sort of, like, roll players and, and, and put, like, you know, uh, fire in their bellies to all, almost prove you wrong. You know, you want that vengeance in you, don't you? You want to go out there and prove you wrong. That's right. And, uh, you know, and I remember Martin O'Neill saying years ago about Emil Hesker, you know, he used to wind him up. He said you had to wind him up and, and criticise, like, um, his missus or his, his mother or something before he went out there to get him to yeah. play to his best. You know, he said, yeah, I always yeah. used to say, negative to him before he went out there to wind him up and then he'd go out there and he'd be the best player on the pitch I don't know if he did that for us but mm. you know whether Bruce he did it with him I mean he performed well for us as well don't get me wrong but he never played like he was angry did he I would say yeah. but so, <laughs> if there was one know, thing that could be done on Wednesday it's play that snippet just of Claire <laughs> and what I scared me scared me because it just, it, it screams, and there's loads of comments on the message board about it. Tonight's show is just screaming the passion, right? And it's, I'm not going to say that we don't lack it in the team, because I think we've got it there. But you're right, Paul, what can we do to to pull out those little bits, that extra percent to take us over the line? Um, lots of comments around, right? Laird is a great guy. Everybody loves him, but there's too much laughing and joking. Switch on the serious head, get us over the line, have a laugh and a joke, the last game of the season when we've got nothing to play for. Mm. right? Yeah. Then there's other people that are, are, are there saying, actually, is it time now for players to stand up? And, you know, why should we need to wind them up? They should be playing for the badge. Arguably, some of these people should be playing for contracts, right? And and we're not we're not seeing that. So to me, I think there's a there's a there's a serious amount of people now that are thinking, do you know what? I've been told I'm off. So what 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 do I care about? Mm. Going back to Mike's comments around the under twenty ones, is it time to put them in? It'd be totally the opposite time for me because I just don't think they don't think they're ready. If they were ready they'd be in the squad now. Yeah. So it's it's that opportunity. The opportunity comes when we've got nothing to play for, when we're safe. Then then put them out there. And, and I think Eustace actually did it last season, didn't he? he? He tried to bed the youngsters in to see what we've got to play with. We've got to set our stall out. And on Wednesday evening, the very first thing that I want to see is I want to see somebody going in hard, hitting the player, and in mm. the very first few minutes, as soon as that Cardiff player's on the ball, bang, we're here, you're not getting past us. We see that, that'll fire up the fans. If we fire up the fans, that St Andrews and that game <clears throat> will be different. If we just see people sitting back doing nothing, trying fancy flicks and playing silly football, all it's going to do is wind the fans up the opposite way, and then, then those players are not going to want to see it on the pitch. Mm. It's... Playing it round and it? it's playing it sideways around the edge of the penalty box. You know, it's we, we, it's cost yeah. us. It cost us against Middlesbrough. You know, Pritchard, 
unfortunately misplaced the pass and then it cost yeah. us against Watford, you know, dramas for it to, oh, we were across the penalty box, he didn't want it there. There's another goal we've conceded. Good finish, don't get me wrong, both goals, but they're so avoidable if we just change the way we play. Uh, I mean, think about play. all the goals this weekend. Think about, yeah. the, you know, the Liverpool goal the other day. Oh, yeah. Think about the Everton, Everton. Uh, Burnley goal. Think oh. about the goal we scored. So mm. many teams are trying to play this. Well, actually, you're more likely going to shock a team by actually hoofing the ball forward. Yeah. Um, but, Craig, I totally agree with you. I think if there's one player goes bang in, I think then you'll have us all, which, to be fair, I've got to admit, um, I did notice that Sanderson against Leicester was was telling people what to do. Yep. Um, he was a bit more passionate and fair play to him. He did come out of the end this time and he did actually say, you know, we've got five games left. But I feel like they're not realising that the games are slowly eking away. Mm. And yeah. the fact that they should have been like this 10 games ago. There's obviously a part of our season that we've... If we had managed to get a few more points, we wouldn't have even been in that. But I think people need to move away from that point at the moment. We need to concentrate on the football. Mm. Concentrate on the football. Like obviously, we've got the open house tomorrow. I don't know what that's going to be like, but mm. obviously, you know, it's not going to plan. It's not exactly how where we want to be and things like that. But the football's got to do the talking. And wherever we are, then we've then got to then point fingers after because the problem is is if we're pointing fingers and doing everything now the football is the main point we're Bengal City we fight to the end we keep right on Joyce and Sorrows too and we play for that badge if you don't want to play and you don't care do not put them in the squad and that's what Rowie is actually coming out and saying like Dazelle Dazelle is not going to be in that squad because Rowie's already come out and said so there obviously are certain players that aren't performing in training and aren't playing. Mm. Maybe they do need some of the fans to actually come in and give them a... Give them a roll. Yeah, yeah, maybe they do. Maybe it's got to that point. I mean, I'm more than happy to go and tell them because Mm at the end of the day, I just think they've got to play for their own self-pride. It doesn't matter how much money you're on. Surely, if you're doing a job that's results-based... You're doing it for your self pride, and even some of these that are younger, like Jordan James, he won't play for Bone City all his career. So play well, then you're going to get that big move. Jay Stansfield, play well. Fulham might go. Actually, do you know what? We'll try him next season. And actually, he's stepping up. He works so hard. But then the people like Hogan who are just trotting on like this. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm doing a little bit. And I actually said the other week, I said, give Hogan an opportunity. Mm. Mm. Okay, though, it, so what, what more to, do you want? Yeah, so we want to, we want to We want to play long ball, but we can't do that with Stansfield up front on his own with Miyoshi right. next to him. And you know what I mean? These big centre-backs that we come up against will just, you know, gobble them up, wouldn't they? That's the problem. Mm. But, I, I mean, feel sorry for... Simon Andrews, he's on, Simon Andrews is on our uh, legendary coach driver. Good evening, Simon. Uh, trust me, the serious head is on on game day, Simon says. So, obviously, he, you know, that's inside information there. So, you know, the lads care. The lads are concentrating on match day, you know, uh, to go out there in the dressing room to get the best result that they can. But, you know, the song goes, you know, we're Birmingham City, we fight to the end. But my message to that is, you know, can we rephrase it to we concentrate to the end, <laughs> yeah. you know, as well? Because that's what we need to do. We need to concentrate till the end as well as fight. Mm. Game yeah. management. Is a massive yeah. part of football. Um, I've been watching the Man City um, documentary on Netflix. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. If anyone wants to see it and they see a manager like Guardiola, they lost 2 0 against Southampton, and he basically looked each one of them in the eye and went, Do you want this or not? And literally, you saw the players go, Oh, we have an impact. That's what you need. You need to. I'm not. I think Rabbit and Robbo are the people to do it. I generally do, but yeah, yeah. it's scary that we've got to this point of this point of the season where actually this time last year I think we only needed one more win. Wasn't we safe yeah. within four yeah. games? Yeah. And now all of a sudden, we're five games. So actually, it's still kind of in our hands. I think Huddersfield have got the worst. But again, everyone seems to be picking up points all of a sudden. They're turning into Leicester, aren't they? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I've got to say, there's some comments that are coming from outside of the um, the shout box and stuff. 
So, uh, you know, evening to all of our friends at uh, the BCFC OSCs that are listening in this evening. Um, there's one particular comment that's just come through from Keith Russell, and he simply said, got to say, it, if all of our players work together only half as well as all of us do as individuals, then we'd be walking the league. And I've changed the word walking. Um, but he's just said proper <laughs> teamwork by everyone concerned is what's needed at the moment. And, and it's so, so true. You, you know what I mean? I'd give anything, anything to wear this shirt on the pitch. Yeah. Turn out for my club. <laughs> uh, these people have paid thousands of pounds to do it. Some of which they're not fans. No. So, uh, and, and, and do you know, actually, going back to what we're missing in the team at the moment, that's one thing we are missing. We haven't got the blue blood in there as much as we would like. Because I think that that's when it starts really coming through. You know, JJ to me, yeah, he's, he's come through the, the ranks, but he's, he's not got that fight at the moment. He's not got that that passion and that drive that, you know, I, I sat down and watched the Wales game the other week and he, he was a totally different player. Now, is that because we're playing him a different way to what he does for Wales? I don't know. But actually, it should come through. It should show as soon as he's on the pitch. Hmm. And I believe <laughs> firmly it comes out in the dressing room. I think the, that I think the tatering's we need. But just... Go on now. Jordan, Jordan James... He's not hasn't got the Bellingham mentality. Bellingham was right. brought up both of them as Blues fans, and, yep. and no other. Now, with respect to Jordan James, he comes from Hellyford, right? His father's Welsh. Now, his motivation as a kid, I want to play for Wales. I don't want to play for Hellyford. Uh, and then somebody comes along and offers him a professional contract, and he goes there. He's got no. It's not like any of us would feel. He's, mm. he's just become a professional footballer and we're the ones that give him a chance. Now, I'm not suggesting he don't care, I'm, uh, but it's not the same as really caring, if you know what I mean. You know, this this is you know this badge means everything to me and I'm going to yeah. whatever. Uh, whereas the Bellinghams and uh, people people like... Um, the Gardeners. Uh, the Gardeners, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That... that they know uh, Paul Devlin. You know we, we can go, we can go through these people, who whose ability was um, there, but with their attitude, it was there. You know, they're, 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 yeah. this is my team. I'm playing for it, and and they were better players for us than they would ever be for anybody else. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, Michael it, it, Manners said, "Get rid of the egos, get rid of the laziness, get rid of the negativity." Hmm. And I think that, that yeah, is, <laughs> yeah, you know, and and coming back to it, as we've we've mentioned lots of different things about the players, right, and these ones that may well be going at the end of the season, right. What I'm fed up of is we're linked with this player, we're linked with that player. For God's sake, we're not safe in this league yet. We ain't linked with anybody. Right. Forget the rumours, right? It's it's silly. It's just not worth wasting breath on. But the one thing I will say is the owners do care. The owners do care. The owners are passionate about this club. If we go down, they'll make sure we're back up. They're not going to hang around. They're going to want us to be back up because it will put any plans that they've got behind Immediately by twelve months, mm. and so mm. they're gonna they're gonna look to do the right thing and 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 to take us forward. Again, rumours. Lilypad's put on as a rumour that Brady's gonna walk away if we get relegated. No. Right? If we get relegated and he walks away, nobody's bigger than our club. Mm. I don't think he will for one minute. But nobody's nah. bigger than our club. So they want to walk away. So be it, but I don't believe Knighthead or anybody else is of that mindset. Um, tomorrow night, it's going to be interesting to see what he's planning. I, I don't know how much time Tom Brady spends, uh, you know, on our club anyway. You know, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a global icon, so how much of his time is actually taken up by Birmingham City Football Club? I've got no idea. We see him at St no. Andrews. We see him at St Andrews once every now and again, and obviously, I know he's probably on on, on Zoom or Teams or whatever talking to. 
you know, members of the club and stuff and having conversations. But how often is that? I've got, you know, we don't know, do we? No, we don't. So, uh, team, isn't he? Isn't he buying another team? I mean, I spoke to Jeremy Dowell on Saturday. As soon as I saw him, I thought, I'm going to talk to him and Dowell's. And I said, what happens if we go down? And he went, it's just been put back a year, isn't it? Yeah. That, that's all he said. He said they're not going anywhere yeah. because they're, they're in it now, aren't they? Because they've got to wait for the Chinese to get rid of um, off the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, whatever it's called. Yeah. And, um, and they're in it. And also, if he was to leave, that's fine because we're still here. We're, the mm-hmm. Burma City Football Club will still be here. And then if in 10 years' time we're doing well, he would have regretted it, wouldn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, at the end of the day, we're still going to be here. And I think us fans would be here, even if we played National League or whatever. It doesn't yeah. matter. Mm-hmm. We were here before and we'll be here after whatever That's happens. It. I can't see them walking away because of the opportunity. And it is a big opportunity. That's you know, I've had so many people go to me, What hap- if we go down, what do you think? If we go down, we've all got our own opinion. It might be a good thing because we can get rid of the dead wood we can go back stronger. Wolves did it, Southampton did it, loads of teams have done it. Do I particularly think that's a good thing? No. Would I rather be playing championship football? Yes. But we've all we've got we've got five more games, fifteen points. Now we could all of a sudden win four of those five games and be happy and be mid table because actually Plymouth, the Plymouth Rotherham game was appalling. The other day. And I watched every minute of it. I'm only sick. Yeah, and they were really bad. Rather than okay, everybody's like we're going to go there and win. Well, actually, they've got a bit of freedom now because yeah. they're they're getting ready for next season. They've had going to be hard. Changes. It's going to be hard. It I'll is. Pack. So we just got to go for it. That's it. We got to go for it. We got to be positive as fans until it's mathematically yes or no. We've got to stick behind those teams. You know, we're Burning City. That's it. Like, give, give, me, give you a bit of hope. Don't forget that there'll be half that Rotherham team thinking, I ain't going to be here next year. You know, mm-hmm. they'll get rid of me. They can't afford me or they don't want me or whatever. So it's, it's, it's not all gloom and doom. You know, we, we, we have got to play teams that the t- league table says are poorer than us. And uh, and they're poorer than poor, well, they're where they are for a reason, and they sh- they aren't going to get any better. They might get more enthusiastic, or they might get less enthusiastic. Who knows? But I, I suspect half the team at Rotherham uh, are on the beach now. You know, uh, their agents are saying, oh, "You're, you're going to find me another club because uh, they ain't." Get, you know, it, it, it happens. A, a relegated team. Phew, Gets yeah. rid of let's everybody. Not, yeah. Yeah. Let's not get complacent, though, because if we do go down, you know, we I, I, yeah, yeah, automatically, there's nothing guaranteeing us to automatically come back up. I mean, how long did it take Sunderland? Yeah, four yeah, like years, didn't it? Yeah. Look, well, look, look at look at look at Derby. You know, look at yeah, Derby. Well, thought yeah. they'd be always be for a season, but they're struggling. Yeah. You know, look at it's, Coventry, it's, Coventry it's, had to go all the way to League Two, didn't they? Yeah, so, so it, it, could, it could be the beginning of something even worse. You know, you don't even want to go down there to find out. So. You know, yeah. that's why these I mean, last five games now are absolutely huge, and we need to make sure yeah. we're doing everything we possibly can, you know, to pick up as many points as we possibly can to, to avoid it. Because you know, it's not like oh, we're going to go down and we'll be back in a year because it, you know, it's nothing guaranteed at all. No, you know, I look at the fixtures tomorrow evening. So, Millwall, they were well <laughs> through the unit. Let's, let's, let's not forget, are playing Leicester at home. All right, Leicester fighting for the the automatic promotion. Plymouth for playing QPR. Right. So you've got two teams there that are both far from out of it. However, I'd say QPR are a little bit closer to being safe. There. They lost to Sheffield Wednesday, Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> they lost to, yeah. you know, you, I, 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 that fixture is the, is the, is, is the one that's going to screw us up because yeah. <laughs> one of them is going to win. Uh, and it doesn't matter which one it is, it, it hurts. It will hurt us. A nil-nil draw would probably be better. And I, I, I asked the question, how did Millwall beat us? Yeah. And lose to Huddersfield? How did QPR beat us and then lose to Sheffield Wednesday? What, what, what's going on? And, and you, you, you almost, it's, it's the old cliche, anybody who can beat anybody in this league. And, and surely in these five games, 
We've got to stop looking at what is going on elsewhere. Six points at the next two, and we can all have a we can have a laugh and a joke next this time next week. Oh, it's all up. We it, it technically could be, we could be safe this time next week, or near near as. Mm. Uh, equally, we could be gone. I mean, the, just, other, the other fixtures, Preston have got Huddersfield. Preston's still fighting yeah. uh, a, a final Playoff. spot mm. in their playoffs. Sheffield Wednesday are playing Norwich. Norwich still fighting for the, mm. for the, for the playoffs. Uh, out of all of the fixtures that are coming up across these next few days, this is, the, for me, the better one that we could have because we've got a Cardiff team who, they're on the beach, but then they got spanked. Yeah the weekend mm. so they're not going to want to be in a position where, where they're losing heavily again but they're not going to go down they're not going to go up they're, they're on the beach you know and, and that's the team that we want to play get the result against them then it'll be much better you know I, I just look at it again Saturday it's a massive massive game but I think we, we can do it we can do it we've just got to be positive going into it we need to, to show even 10% of the passion that we've all shown on here tonight. If that was shown on the pitch on Saturday and, and Wednesday night, it's going to make such a difference. Mm. Yeah. I think it yeah. was against against Preston, it was, wasn't it? You know, it was uh, overall 90 minutes. We, 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 we probably could have won, should have won that game by more than one goal, you know. So we need we need that again and again and again in these three home games, especially. Because I think if anything's going to keep us up, uh, it's our home form that will keep us up, not our away form. Because our away form is horrendous, isn't it? It's awful. Um, so you know, and, and don't get me wrong, if we can beat Rotherham away, fantastic. You know, but it ain't going to be a walk in the park, and neither Huddersfield, obviously, either. But is it mathematically possible for Cardiff to finish in the playoffs? Because I'm, I'm not sure if they're quite on the beach yet. You know, Craig. I'm not. You know, I think it's probably about. I don't know how many points. They're eleven, Tom. They're, they're eleven, 11. from fifty-six points. So they they've got to gain and well, they're seven points behind it at the moment. But yeah, still- they, they could mathematically still do it. But I think you know, and and as I have done, spoken to to Cardiff fans, they're like, no, you, you know, to them, their season is finished, and this this to them is a great season. Mid-table mediocrity for them is hmm. above way above the expectations um, because of the financial situation that they have they have been in and, and the squad that they've built. But the one thing that came across during that catch-up with with, with the guy from, uh, from uh, Cardiff was you cannot, same as Birmingham, predict how that team is going to play game in, game out. There's no consistency. There's no drive. There's, there's, there's no sort of, to them, as he said, it lacks severe passion apart from youngsters that have come through the club. And, mm. and I mean, what have we just said? Exactly the same thing. We only see the drive and the passion from these people that arguably are, are, are guaranteed to be here with us next season, no matter mm. what. Um, but we'll, we'll see. But I just, I've just got, got to stick with the positivity. I can't, I can't think about any of the negatives. At the moment, it's in our hands. That's one mm. thing that I can say that we haven't had for many seasons. It's in our hands. Mm. We can make the difference. And as what I said, two games, six <clears> points, <throat> all of a sudden, everybody's in a totally different position. Mm. Because Claire said it very early on, 50 points in this league to stay up. That's a lot this season, yeah. an awful lot. But that's because it shows actually how close the league is and arguably how poor the league is as well by how many people are so close to fighting at either end. So, yeah. yeah. It's just bring it up. Bring on the noise. That's what we want to keep saying. Bring on the noise. Uh, I've, I've, got, I've got a picture of these teams you're talking about. QPR, Plymouth, Millwall, Sheffield Wednesday. And their fans are all having the same sort of chat as we're having. And they're all going... This is a tough game this week. And look who Birmingham have got. The jammy so-and-sos. we got to play Leicester. we got to play Norwich. we got to play so-and-so. Think about that. that, that they, they, they are filling their drawers bang on all the time. We, we're not. We, we're thinking that we're going to do this. We're, we're, we're the positive ones. 
if I, I wouldn't want to be in any of their shoes, to be honest. I'd rather be in our shoes than any of theirs. Mm. Staying up then up. No. Staying up, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't uh, I, 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 I'm not worried. I'm just annoyed. It's annoying that we're in this situation. You know, yeah. I, want, I want to be... I certainly want to go to that last game to enjoy it. And I don't care if they spank us, you know. I don't want to go to it. Oh, my God. Fingers, yeah. you know. I, I, I've had, I'm getting old. I've had 10 years of that nearly. And, yeah. and, and, and the, the two years under, uh, certainly one of them was useless, wasn't he? he and, and, and the one before was... Oh, yeah. Bo, oh, yeah. We oh, finished, yeah. We finished... You know, oh, we got five games to go, and we're safe, blah, blah, blah. And then we play crap in the last yeah. five games. Oh, we'll give so-and-so a chance, so-and-so. Get beat five at Blackburn, four at Cardiff. And I didn't like that any any better. I'd, I'd, I'd really, quite honestly, at least go to a football match, you know, with a bit of tension and a bit of work. I, I hated that, that situation. I yeah, I, d I don't think everybody would be as angry as they are if we hadn't been taken over last summer, you know, because... Yeah. Yes, yeah. the club is in such an exciting situation now off the field. We're just not allowed to have nice things, are we? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you know, spot on, mate. Spot almost on. Like, almost like there's a dark cloud over the whole place, and uh, you know that's another good, another thing that pleased me when I heard that we've took over Birmingham, you know, wheels, and we're going to be building a new stadium because hopefully mm. the doom of that place will 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 finally leave us, and the doom of you know, that's been over the club since 1875, will mm. we'll disappear completely when we move but, across, the, that, across the road. That's, a, that's another thing that is annoying me. I Like like Claire said, if, if we go down, it, that goes back a year. Yeah. Uh, and, I, yeah. I, you know, I can't wait to get in there. You know, I no. want to be, you know, thinking, oh, this, look at this. I, I mean, I, I told you the other way. I, I, I went round <laughs> I went round Tottenham's ground uh, on the Friday morning before the QPR game. It's breathtaking, and I think I'm thinking we could have some of this. This is wonderful. Mm -hmm. well, well, the new St Andrews looking looking like this, and it was it was breathtakingly good. It was out of this world. I've been around the Bernabeu. I've been around uh, San Siro. The lot ain't in the same league as, as this Tottenham game, and that's what I want for my team. At least something that you know where people are queuing up just to go and round the ground and don't know to watch the football. They, they were queuing up th thirty. Uh, they, they were 120 an hour. They were shoveling through the yeah, tour. That's a lot, yeah. 120 an hour for the whole of Good Friday. Incredible. 27 mm. quid a time. Yeah. Think that's, so. what I, that's, that's what I want for my team. I want, I want to sit in a very comfortable seat, and you know, have a pee in a proper toilet, and have a proper cup of tea and a cup of coffee. Not, I'm, you know, people go, oh, they've done wonderful things about the stadium not for me they haven't you know I'm still being in a trough basically yeah. and I don't want that anymore I've, I'm tired and weary literally I would rather see us I'd rather see us spend money on the team though on the playing stuff you know on the of course yeah but better. we can't I'd, I'd rather the rules I'd be sitting more comfortably watching the football than you know I'd rather the football was more comfortable to watch than the seat yeah. I'm sat in if that makes sense yeah, yeah. I mean I, yeah. I, I'll be honest I, I, quite, I, I was very happy Going back 25 years, standing in a pool of piddle, uh, watching Trevor Francis and Bob Latch, you know, I, I, I could have stood anywhere. I didn't, yeah. I didn't care. Mm. It's uh -huh. only when, you know, times moved on and other people had, you know, oh, well, built in a new stadium and all seat and all this business. It never crossed my mind that, you know, I was sitting in a tip or standing in a tip because the football was great. Mm. Yeah. 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 Well, it's a big week ahead, isn't it, to say the least. It's like, you know, probably the biggest week that we've had for a long, long time. Um, the message know. board is, is it, it, it's just full could be of could be a record positivity. Could be record it's, been, it's been so busy, so sorry we haven't shouted out as many... Uh, okay, let's, let's, let's hear it again. Go yeah. We've got um, Ray BCFC Orton, we're 100% staying up. Nigel Mann, we're playing championship football next season. 24-25 will be in the playoffs. 25-26 Premiership. You've hear, heard it here first. I hope you're right. 150 uh, years. Yeah. He's got to, got to, somebody's got to come to us. Um, then there's, uh, we're going to go for, uh, so Adam Walsh has said he's going for a 1-0 to 
on Wednesday evening and one one on Saturday. We haven't got to the results yet, so uh, you're a bit bit far ahead of time there. But thanks for the positivity, Bill Mint. We're a million percent staying up. We will beat Cardiff and we'll beat Coventry and Rotherham, so then we can relax. It's mm. Jim Tony is just echoing what you'd said, Paul. But if we were relegated, don't kid ourselves that we'll bounce straight back up. Absolutely. So it's you know, um, <laughs> Nigel Man sees a bit scary this one for everybody. But what he has said is he had a look at the wheel site yesterday, and there is no way that we can play on that playing surface because there's too many tires. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I hope this is out. Why <laughs> defend the ball better? <laughs> yeah. uh, Maureen Minnate has said we need Barry Fry to come and miss in each of the corner flags. Mm. Um, and I should say, actually, congratulations to, to Baz. Uh, yeah, yeah. His 79th birthday yesterday, but to see yeah. his uh, Peterborough team win at Wembley was, uh, was, was uh, great. Yeah, you that, know, that epitomises what we need as a club because... It was yeah. their skipper that scored the two goals. Mm. Their skipper has come through the ranks. Their skipper is a Peterborough fan. And he just wore his heart on his sleeve yesterday. That's mm. what we need in our team on both of those days. And all yeah. the cool goals came in the last five minutes. Yeah, oh, great winning goals, isn't it? Yeah. Phenomenal yeah. end of the, uh, of the game. Um, that documentary, sorry, Craig, that documentary on Sky as well about Baz was fantastic, weren't it? Did everyone see that? Yes. It yeah. was. Really, really, really good. Mm. Um... Final comments on the, on the board at the moment. Jim Tony, stay positive all. We all need to pull in this together. Yeah. Claire Lewis said, in Rowett and Robbo, we trust. Uh, keep the faith from Mommy Giblin. Yeah. Uh, never change. You know, as a Birmingham City fan, that's one thing we can say. We never lose faith, do we? Uh, um, we just get disheartened and we get frustrated. Yeah. There's a big, there's, that's the, uh, the main things. And then finally, to be fair, Michael Woods has said, to be fair, Sanderson has played well in the last two games. Let's hope that that continues. Yeah. It's almost like the penny's dropped with him. You know, he's really stepped up to the plate. I don't know, you know, if, if they've had a quiet word, if Robbo or, or Rowett's had a quiet word with him, but he's just been a different player the last two games. Yeah, really, uh, yeah. you know, really impressed by him. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just read a couple off uh, YouTube as well, so we don't forget that. Yeah, yeah. Um, as I say, uh, make the ground hostile. We can make yeah. a difference when we talked about that earlier. Yeah, scare um, the opposite. Yeah, scare him, scare him. Yeah. Jonathan Chapman says that literally I lose my voice every game I go to. Same here, says Mazza. Uh, Blue Blood, mates, I salute you too. Here's a question for you guys How will spending money on a new stadium affect money for the team given FFP? I don't, I don't think it make, makes no. an iota. No, any money on your facilities doesn't come into no, it. No, I don't think it does. No, 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 no. If anything, it helps because when you've got a stadium that people want to go and visit, and like Watto said, you know, if we could have a stadium where people can have these tours and do different things, it's an additional income and revenue stream. Mm. Um, so that that yeah, it, it won't it won't have any impact. No, no, That's no, why no. I think tomorrow evening at the Open House. Uh, what I will say is, you know, um, we'll get out as much information as we possibly can, not only across the evening, but afterwards as well. But that that tomorrow is based around ambition. You know, it's been made very clear that there's a lot of things that are going to be heard tomorrow evening. There's a lot of things to be excited about. But for me, most importantly, I want to be excited about what happens on the pitch. Yeah. Yes, I want to look forward to a new stadium. Be brilliant, be awesome, but you know, I, I, I want to be excited about the people kicking the ball. I want to be excited about going into St Andrews, thinking we're going to win a game, and not at the moment the dread of the fear of losing and being down in that bottom half and disappearing. Um, because it is the rebirth of the club that we want to see. Mm. You know, I want to go down to come back up. We want to stay where we are and then build from there. Here's a, great, yeah. here's a great comment here. Uh, Buddy in the Box says, I want to find out who in my lineage was the first Blues fan so I can blame them for my eternal misery. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. Yeah, good one, those. Yeah, yeah. Whoever, whoever it was, he must have been either bald or grey. 
one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly deranged, I think. God, but, uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very, well, very busy. it's hard at times to keep the five, isn't it? But you have to. You just have to keep thinking forward, and there's nothing you can do about it once that final whistle's gone and we've lost the game. It's nothing you can do about it. As frustrating as it is, yeah. you know, and uh, it's now hard to see. Well, I, I, I'm struggling just to see past Wednesday now at the moment, to be honest, and then on to Saturday and take each damn game at a time as though it's uh, the last game we're ever going to play, you know, and from the players' point of view, I mean, and just go out there and leave everything on the pitch, you know? Yeah. It's like we said, it's like Alan said earlier, on that last game against Norwich, what like a party atmosphere, don't we? You know, we want yeah. the final whistle to go, we're safe, there's, you know, it sounds corny, but like the sun shining, the, the atmosphere, you know, we just want to enjoy that last game. Yeah. We don't yeah. want to go there with, you know, buying our nails and all the rest of it. I'll tell you now, if we've got another concert after that Norwich game and we're safe, and even, oh. if, it's Dizzy, even if it's Dizzy Rascal, I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be good. It's a good chart, though. We should have... We imagine UB40 coming back. Even if they perform just one song, you know, just yeah. to do uh, Forever Blue or whatever. Oh, uh, Forever Blue, happen. number one in the charts. Well done to everybody. It's, it's got to be... It's got to be Yaz for me. The only way is up. You need them to sing that live after the night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but, uh, good class. But yeah, so uh, here we go. Then the rest of the week, it's uh, it's going to be a roller coaster. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, because mm-hmm. uh, I think that's what we're in for. Isn't it a roller coaster ride over these yeah. next over this next month, shall I say? Yeah, we don't do we don't do anything easy. No, what a me- it's been a mental season, boring, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, <laughs> just, it, it's it's such a combination of things. While we are where we are, it's just mad from that useless sacking. It's just been absolute carnage in more ways than one you know you can't just put your finger on the really appointment the reason why we are where we are you know sadly Tony Mowbray becoming unwell as well I don't think for a second we'd be in this situation if that hadn't happened no you know no. I, know it's all, I know it's all hindsight but you know I think we'd have definitely picked up more points under Tony than we did under Mark Venus God bless him he did his best but he's not a manager maybe we should have made that change sooner but obviously we were told that Tony would be back in six to eight weeks weren't we or yeah. four to six weeks, was it, sorry? I can't see um, him. I can't see him and, and unfortunately, he has to set back with that and he has to stay out for the remainder of the season. And that's when they action, wasn't it, after that? But, you know, it's, mm. it's a combination of things. I think we could, probably could have recruited on one or two players, the likes of Burke and, mm. and um, Tyler Roberts and people like that. I mean, Tyler Roberts, I wasn't sure if we were ever going to see him at one point. I don't think he actually could be until after about well, it, over 20 games, weren't it, Claire, when we saw Tyler Roberts? Uh, yeah, she, she had yeah. Oh, no worries. Uh, yes, I pulled you started something. Uh, let's have the uh, the last day song then from everybody, please. Uh, keep that going. The last day, the last day song. We're doing yeah, request. Yeah, yeah. The last day song. <clears throat> Simon, if you're still watching, then uh, let, let them know. <laughs> yeah. uh, at half time Wednesday, can we request Claire Gibbon does a Del- Delia Smith? Gets on yeah. the pitch, half pissed. <laughs> Oops, hang on, hang on. <laughs> half pissed <laughs> and rants. Where are you? Let's be having you. Let's be having you. Let's be having you. Oh god, I'd, I'd pay a lot of money for charity for that. I would do anything for us to win and stay up. Not anything. Not. <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything. Calm no. down. Calm down, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, the songs that have been coming through on the message board actually you really have started to because we've now got the uh, so Jim Tony says the last day song should things can only get better yeah, yeah well, D-Ream yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mark Brooks has said down down deeper and down <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> uh, draw, draw your eyes mate from the streets yeah 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 stop it didn't we used to sing sometimes? Um, don't worry about a thing, really. Like, like don't yeah. worry, worry about. We need <laughs> to start Marley. singing that on Wednesday. Bob, Bob's Marley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've sang that's it in the set. Only when the game's yeah, finished. We, we, we have sung get away before. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Bill, Bill Mims has now said we should have another one bites the dust. Andy Boner said, "Let's hope we're not singing. We'll meet again." Uh, Pete yeah. Taylor, the only way he's up, Yaz. Yes, we've had that one mentioned already. Uh, Paul Hansen has also said we'll meet again. Um, I mean, Lily Pat, the blood. final countdown. Um, uh, don't bring me down, uh, says Bunny Knox. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I love that one. I was the tiger. Yeah. 
Does anybody? I, I must admit, when we, when we send other teams down, I do think it's quite funny when we sing "We'll Meet Again." I just hope you. Know, <laughs> I think. Uh, <laughs> Nigel, man, that's I brilliant. Days back, Mark. Mark, Mark, I want them days back. I remember good 2004. Yeah, do you remember? We used to send teams Lee, down. We were just singing Lee. it to them and it's funny. <laughs> remember Leeds in 2004 when we were, I think we were three up or four up against them. Yeah. Then Brian Hughes got two, well, only he was on the attic and four south on yeah. the penalty. And, um, yeah, took the penalty off well, yeah, yeah, they were more or less down then, weren't they? We were singing yeah. Will Me. Will Me again yeah. and waving at them. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, funny. Yeah. <laughs> we're, all doing that. we're all doing that easy as well. I've stopped where I haven't worked with our hands. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The big daddy thing, yeah. Yeah, want to see those yeah. days again? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, there's loads in there, Craig. Yeah, Nigel Mann has said money's too tight to mention as the last song. <laughs> uh, Dave Twine, Claire, you'll be too young for this one, but he has said we should have atmosphere by Russ Abbott Russ before Abbott. the game. Oh, <laughs> oh what an atmosphere! Uh, oh, many God. rivers to cross has come for as yeah. well from uh, Ray Orton. Uh, so you win again by hot chocolate from Michael Woods. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a perfect day, or change it to it's just a perfect J oh, from Tom Kavanagh. Yeah. Never yeah. going to give you up and never going to let you down by Rick Astley. Or <laughs> red again, simply red again, holding back the years, but holding back the beers instead of years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Molly Giblin, we will survive. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, Susan yeah. Lawton says, Norton says uh, keep the faith, Bon Jovi. <laughs> yeah. Would everybody would everybody pick the same 11 on Wednesday night or would you make any changes to the team? Same 11 for me. I'll keep the okay. same. Anyone? Mm. anyone? <laughs> we, can't all agree. we can't all agree with each other, surely. That's too boring, isn't it? Yeah, but I think... <laughs> If, if you're going to win a game, you've got to play your best team. And I think the team that we've had against Leicester and against Preston at the moment is our best team. But the only problem is, is then we play Wednesday, then Saturday. And, you know, some of them, especially Joe Stansfield, I mean, he's absolutely shattered by the end of the game. Like, he yeah. can only just about walk. So, you know, it's, is it that we have to go at it 70 minutes, hopefully trying to get a few goals and then we then sub off all our, but then that's when our problems happen. So. Mm. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm laughing to myself because I'm reading the comments here, but Michael Woods yeah, yeah. said, if we go down, you can play smack my bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, bleep, the bleep machine's definitely needed tonight, Chris. Yeah, but you're doing it too fast. Hang on a bit. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. We could be playing Crawley next year. It's only just up the road. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle to I struggle to sit here and say it's our best eleven without drama in it. I'm not going to lie. He's, he's up there for player of the season for me. He's, 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 he's been in our top three players of the season. I think um, he's consistently good every time he plays. You know, he, he probably should have won that first header at QPR, but I'm not going to dig him out for that. I think overall he's been excellent for us when he's played. To um, be honest, Paul. To be honest, Paul, if, if it was player awards tomorrow, who would you play player of the season? They did go with Jomo. This is another interesting one, Mark, because if we did go down, it's the day after the Norwich game. It'd be cancelled, wouldn't it? It's going to be cancelled. <laughs> we'll behind be... closed doors. I don't yeah, think, I, no, it won't be cancelled. They won't cancel it. Who would be player of the season so far? I don't know. Probably Stansfield, isn't it? Don't Jaya. Yeah. Say Jaya. Yeah. Got to be. Or Jordan James. Or, or, or yeah. Got to be up there. <laughs> And Buchanan as well, possibly. Um, yeah, I thought I thought Buchanan on Saturday was it Saturday? Yes, um, was back to his very, very best. Uh, I mean, I fell in love with him first time he kicked a ball for us. I thought this guy is top quality, and he hasn't been since his injury, and he he took time to get back. He hasn't been there, but he was Saturday. You know, uh, the ball was going down that right wing, and you just just relax because. You know he ain't gonna. Nobody's gonna get across him. Nobody's gonna take the ball past him, uh, and and he he was just absolutely splendid. I mean, I, I, the other shout I would have to go for was Ruddy uh, for man of the season. Um, you know, mm. he shouldn't be because what that tells you about is he's dug us out the the soft yeah. and smelly too often. But he, yeah, he yeah. has been tremendous. Yeah, um, yeah. But you look. Is worth a shout. 
on yeah. Barry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he's, I do like Billy. Yeah. yeah, and he's 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 played in various positions, and each time he's 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 got us out. Claire's disagreeing, but one thing, Claire, just before I come to you, Bill Mintz has said just because it's him, you know, Burke has really got to be close for Player of the Season. Well, he's uh, well, congratulations because obviously he's expecting, isn't he? So we'll put that out on there as he still technically plays for us. Um, but the thing with Billy is never forget the few games that he had when we played against Coventry and he jogged back. Mm. So all I'm going to say is, is that Jay Stansfield has tried hard in every single game. Jay Jay's the same. Um, I think Billick at the moment is our best player. I think he's actually stepped up, and I think, I think so. you know he's playing really well at the moment. You, you reminded me of something from Saturday. We 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 took him off. I mean, he just got the first time he got caught caught with the ball uh, for about six six games, uh, and he pulled the bloke over. He got booked, and he looked he looked tired, and he got booked, and we whipped him off. And we missed him, missed him so much because you give him the ball and he keeps it. Whereas whoever come on and took his place, it was was it Pritchard came on for him, yeah. didn't do that, didn't do that, um, and that was a big loss, a very big loss losing Billy on Saturday. Mm. What's goal of the season? Would you say so far? Hopefully, hopefully, you know we're going to score again, <coughs> and we score one the first day, but. What so far? If you had to pick goal of the season and the awards was tonight, what would you go wow. for? Saturdays. <laughs> 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 yeah. I like Bakuna's free kick at Stoke. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jay Stansfield's um, first goal for the club. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, the one against. What about Gardner's free kick one. against Albion? Oh, God. Yeah, I think Bakuna's was better better than that one. But yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Claire? What's your goal of the season, Claire? Um, I do like Stansfield's goal. I thought that yeah. it was a look at me, welcome kind of thing. I mean, we don't score many, do we? So there's not a lot to choose from. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not being like for me, but, you know, it would be nice if we could get a couple of goals in the 85th or 90th minute. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think yeah. that would be, you know, <laughs> any goal at the moment that wins us games will be goal of the season. I tell you that now. Yeah. 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 Especially if we're three 0 up and we score in the 89th minute, that'd be good. Yeah, make it four, James, nil. Make it four nil. That 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 make me happy. Yeah, yeah. J- James and Miyoshi. James and Miyoshi have scored a few nice goals as well, haven't they? Yeah. yeah. And Bele as well earlier in the season. Um, got some nice goals for us as well. The one at Black- I know we lost the game, but he got one a nice one at Blackburn away, didn't he? And uh, mm. a nice, if I remember, he scored a good one at Hudders- against Huddersfield as well at home, didn't he? Um, yeah. I liked his one at Ipswich. Because it was a, a real good team goal. Mm. Yeah. yeah, he finished off well. Yeah, yeah, and his strike from the edge of the box was it? Was it Huddersfield as well? I think in the four-one was it four-one? Yeah, yeah his so yeah. goal was good as well. Stansfield. I don't think Stansfield scores really many like he does at the weekend either. He takes him really well at the corner. Yeah, yeah. His, his goal at Stoke when he he burst past everybody and smashed yeah. it in. Uh, yeah. yeah, great. Great Two people goal. against Stansfield against Southampton um, as well. Yeah, that was a good one. So yeah. when Duke yeah, well. flicked, that's Southampton, when Duke flicked it yeah. off. He ran yeah. the, uh, ball. Mm. He don't get tap-ins, does he? No. no. I'd love will to see him play. Will still happen? Pardon? If we go down, will the awards still happen? Yeah, of course. That's you right. got yeah. that, that, that page oh, for the venue, haven't they? Too late. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. The only difference is uh, Burke will get the player of the year if we go down. I mean, I'm not. The season belongs to you. People saying, you know, uh, at least we now know that Burke has scored once this season, but he's going to be a dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, John Paul says, uh, goal of the season, um, Mayoshi, Bristol City away. Bristol City, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. Oh, yeah, that was a good goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Early on, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Manager of the season award. There's a few to pick from. There's a few to pick from, isn't there? Yeah. We're going to have a Talk uh, award ceremony this year as well. And uh, there's a category which is going to be new, which is uh, Mark Adams' favourite friend. So um, apparently there's not many in the running. 
Yeah. Well, uh, if I uh, can just give a shout out to anyone who wants to be a friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, money waiting. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay good rates. So, uh, you know, drop us a line. <laughs> or anything. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just come I'll, and meet I'll, me. I'll, 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 <laughs> What, what, what we should definitely do after that Norwich game, I think, is have a few beers if, we, if we're safe, you know, or even if we survive in that game, after that game. Yeah. We've got meet, we've, we've we got will be celebrating on those streets of Birmingham. We will be in the Roost. Yeah. We will be in the George. We will be everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> if, we we, if we stay up on that game, if we don't, yeah. we'll be crying on the way home. We need a Can you imagine, though? We need to arrange a Tilton talk. We, we, we'll arrange a Tilton talk pub crawl after the game, I think, after that Norwich <laughs> game. And then the then the awards afterwards. So it'd be like yeah, stay after. up on the Saturday, awards on the Sunday. Bank holiday Monday. Whoop, whoop. Bank holiday Monday. Yeah. How much more do you yeah. want? <laughs> yeah. uh, good question. Yeah. The, uh, John Paul ju- says, um, how do you think each game will go? Can you all just quickly view your re- your results and points total in the next five? Let's work it out. Okay. I'll start. Go on then. It will win I think we'll win two one tomorrow. I think we'll draw 2-2 two, two with Coventry. Oh, so three, I think we four. will win at Rotherham 3-1. Five, six, seven. I think, what's the one after that? Is it Huddersfield after that? Huddersfield. Yeah. Yeah. Huddersfield away, I think we'll... Whew, this is hard because I've, I've, I've got a bad feeling about Huddersfield. Don't ask me why. Um, and, and, and if I don't say we're going to lose at Huddersfield, I'm saying we're going to be unbeaten in these five games. Is that possible? Yes. <laughs> Is it? Um, of course it is. Of course it is. Okay. Why not? We'll, we'll, we'll We've got two home games. We've got two home games. We've got two ta- two games against the bottom four, and then that and means then, nothing. Then Norwich. So, <laughs> which, so you're, you know. you're going for, you're going for eight points then, Paul. I'm going. Yeah, yeah. Eight, I'm going for eight. eight, eight. I'm, going for, I'm going for two wins and two draws and a defeat. Yeah, somewhere the okay. defeat will probably be at home to Norwich on the last game, but it won't matter because we'll be safe. I hope. So if we all say a point to tally and average it out, mm. then that's the fact. Yeah, that's go what for it. Be. Right. Go on, okay. I'm on eight points. Have I got any other takers? Anyone think eight we're going to get more than eight? Go on then, uh, Craig. What do you reckon? How many points? Uh, the last what? Uh, the last fifteen. Ten. Ten points. Okay. Wow. Crikey. Crikey. Go on, Alan. Eleven. Ooh, Claire. Nine. <gasps> Go on, Mark. Can I Mark, say you've seven? Got to say twelve, just to keep us going. Can I say? Can I say seven? But it'll be, it will be enough. Right. Okay. Uh, I think okay. forty-nine will be enough to keep us up. 50 I think it might be. Yeah. I've said this since before December to get to fifty points, <laughs> and we've been dying to get there, haven't we? Oh, right, make it make it eight then. Okay, I'm going to go for eight as well. So, I mean, the average is probably around about nine, is it? Nine, ten, between all mm. of us. We should be safe on that. But go and, if, if any of are listening to this, go and prove us wrong, man. Go out yeah, there and get 50. Yeah, yeah sure, us all up. We've only won 11 out of 41 all season, so to go on a, <laughs> to win half <laughs> of those games in the last five, yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 I think the, play, the shocked, playoffs are out of it. We won't, we ain't going to get to the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. playoffs. Uh, we've, we've had it. We've had it. <laughs> Let us celebrate after Rotherham instead. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't think we can be safe before then, can we? We can't be safe this week, can we? I don't think. Mm. No. So, Actions um, speak louder than words. On the message boards, we've got Mike Hill, who's saying we're going to beat Cardiff 2 1, 1 all against Coventry. We're going to beat Rotherham 1 0, 1 all against Huddersfield. Jason Hughes has said, unfortunately, you can only see us taking six points. Nigel Mann has gone for nine. Yeah. Bill Mintz, 14. Wow. 14. Can't get 14. Can't do 14. <laughs> um, so, uh, seven points is from Benji Smith. Um, Michael also believes that we'll beat Norwich 2 1. Nigel Mann says <laughs> if we get 10 points, uh, 10 points. That'll be more than they've had stock in the bar. <laughs> um, where have we got any others? No, there's no others. Oh, sorry, eight points out of 15 coming from Don Kavanagh. Yeah, right. And BCFC Ireland has gone for seven points on YouTube. Mm. What's been 
um, actually, while we're on all this player of the season and goal of the season, what's been the show of the season? Let's, let's put this out to our viewers. What's everyone's oh. favourite show so far this season? You know, we've done so many really, really good good shows this yeah, season. Yeah, there's been loads. Yeah. Yeah. Morrison was up there and Harley Morrow. Dean. Morrison was yeah. fantastic, yeah. yeah. Harley, Harley Dean. Oh, Dean. Oh, yeah, Harley Dean. From Harley Dean was, Harley Dean was my favourite, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. It was, uh, I mean, that, that show, the hour and a half, then that 90 minutes... It just went like that. It was incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoy it when we have Tommy Mooney on as well. I think he's great. And oh, uh, Marcus, yeah. Marcus Painter as well is a great lad as well, isn't he? So, uh, yeah, we've got some good people, you know, um, shows, that we yeah. can invite on, haven't we, that play for us, you know what I mean? Some really good, honest and, you know, down-to-earth people, aren't they? You know, they're just normal people that have played the game at the top level, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. 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 If anybody's you know, missed I them, think uh, Paul, you said it as well, but, you know, if anybody's listening from the club and they pass on the messages to the players, we've all given our points. Well, I tell you what, you get 15 and you can come up to us at the player events and the uh, awards and just go, ha-ha. I'll buy them a drink if we got 15 I'll get, I'll points out of those I'll games. I'll me. I'll put, yeah. 15 points? Yeah. Okay. I'd do. A, I'd streak on the pitch for fifteen points. Would you? It's never going to happen. No, the EFL might deduct us. <laughs> 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 yeah. Only joking, Chris. Uh, the, we're gonna, the, the best. We're going to get fourteen points, Chris, because you're going to streak and we'll get deducted one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> or a couple. <clears throat> um, no, I'm, I'm got a sneaking feeling that out of the bottom six, seven, or whatever. Somebody is going to fall into that hole that we're not expecting. I just probably Plymouth or Millwall. Um, I got a sneaking feeling might just um, be be the one or even the two. Who knows? Um, to fall Back in. Burner, they're not out. No, Back, Back uh, no, they're still not. Got a nightmare running. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, who wants it the most, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Who's exactly. got the most grit? Who's got the most determination? And who's going to stand up and be counted? You know, yeah. we can all talk about how many points we want. We can talk about how we think we're going to be up. It's what they do on the pitch. Actions always speak louder. They've got to now. They've got to now turn up. If we don't turn up, we've got no chance. If we do, we've got a chance. So hopefully. You know, if they hear us or hear somebody or, you know, anyone's yeah. watching, just tell them, just five more games. And you could be, you know, we'll always remember this season because of the the oh. owners and everything <laughs> you're in history. Come on. Mm. Uh, we were talking about favourite shows of the season. It, this is interesting because... <laughs> I know you're going to say. Has, ...has come out so yeah, many yeah. times. But there's one particular one which stands out an absolute mile, and he's there. I'm not going to say who it was, but yeah. the best show of the season was when Rogue was on holiday. I've highlighted it now. So. <laughs> Would was you say the live one? Oh, uh, the, the live, live one's one. got to be up there, yeah. yeah. The live top, was good, top five, yeah, got to be. That was a good yeah. one. Yeah, that was good. I enjoyed that as well. That was a good show. But we, did, we are hoping to do another one as well soon, so. Yeah. And Nigel oh, Mack. <laughs> has said he'll donate a pint of blood for every point that we get. Who's in him? Who's <laughs> with him for it? I'll tell you what, Nigel. If you do it, I'll do it. Whole point. <laughs> You're not going to do it in one day? Not in one day. <laughs> I don't think I've got a point left. Hey, eh? 15 you've been drinking. <laughs> you're struggling. Great, um, great. You're He'll just give a point to Strongbow Dark Fruits and, and tell them fibs. Mm, <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'll give him a pint of uh, strawberry cider that I bought back for somebody instead. That's <laughs> fine, because not mine, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, donate, I'll donate a pint of robes, blood. <laughs> yeah. here's, here's a little scenario that I'd like to see. Blackburn go down and we sign their centre forward. Oh, What's his name? Sammy Smoddy. Yeah, Luton. 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 Well, they, well, they'll be coming down anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, well, after Everton's point deduction, anything can be going on in that league. Anything could be going on. Ridiculous. They'll have uh, parachute payments as well, Luton. We'll that's what I can get back up. That, that, I'm, I'm going to start oh, that. I'm going to start yeah. ranting about parachute payments again, but I absolutely detest them. I think it's so wrong. Yeah. 
It's not fair. No, you, 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 there's a scale of, 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 of awards depending on where you finish. Obviously, if you're champions, you get 10 million or whatever. And if you're bottom, you get half a million. Uh, yeah. And that's it. That's what you've earned. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm all for giving. I'm all for rewarding promotions. Don't get me wrong. Give them all the money in the world when they get up, when they go up, but don't reward yeah. failure. Don't reward failure. Don't reward them for really. End up giving parachute payments to teams that have failed financial fair play rules. Mm. How the hell does that work? Mental. It's just daft. Mm. And know. on that point, the Premier League need to pull their fingers out because this new structure around finances and what was going to be paid to the lower leagues has still not been decided. There's billions of pounds going into the Premier League. Mm-hmm. Right? It is not going to hurt each team no. to give up, which I believe was something like a million pounds each to yeah. spread across all the teams. Right? A million quid to them is pennies. But that's the saviour of clubs in the lower leagues. So, for mm-hmm. God's sake, pull your fingers out, people. You know what I mean? You're not short of a few, Bob. Yep. Let's just spread the love and keep everything it's going. It's never going to happen. No. It's never well, it, all, all it needs to be a percentage of what you've gained. You know, say 10%. Win the league, it's 10 million. Uh, so you, uh, sorry, 100 million. Uh, so you love out 10 million. And if you're bottom and you've got half a million, you you love out fifty grand. And you know, to, uh, a million for, for that's twenty twenty million from twenty clubs to be divided by seventy two. You know, it's obscene. Yeah. It's obscene. It is. Yeah. It's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. Well, it really is. we'll see if they're going to carry on doing it. I don't even know if you get. You know, I like to talk about relegation for us again, but if we did go down, God forbid, then. You know, would we get the parachute payments going from the Championship to League One? I think it's only from the Premier League, isn't it? You don't yeah. Really I don't, no I don't, yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy, really it? But it's yeah. not going to happen. We're going to think positively and we're going to finish outside of the top three. And you know what? I think after Wednesday night, we may well be outside of that bottom oh, three. Top three, Craig. We're outside the top three, by the <laughs> way. I know, that's what I mean. <laughs> so, you see, you see. Oh, God. <laughs> Crazy thing is, crazy thing is, I thought I would tend to seal then. Uh, I've been moaning, I've been moaning about finishing seventeenth all the time, right? And the crazy thing is, we could still finish fifteenth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventeenth would be amazing this season. I'm not going to lie. Give me that seventeenth place. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be great to have a season though where our expectations are a little bit higher? Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot what them days are like, Chris. I know we don't have them. Nigel Man said, Paul. If you were sacked tomorrow, would they double your salary? Just think. Exactly. That's absolutely bang on, yeah. yeah. 100%, yeah. Yeah, they would. Yeah, that's the, thing. that's the other thing as well. Managers getting payoffs as well for doing a bad job. Yeah. Why not? yeah. Jose Mourinho must have, must have over 100 million in his, in his wallet from being sacked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it, yeah. That's it. Madness, isn't it? You'd almost do a bad job on purpose, wouldn't you? On purpose, yeah. Yeah. Michael Woods has said, Mark... Hmm? Why haven't you said we're going to get 16 points out of the remaining five games? It's not my style. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my style, simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, there we go, Paul. We've come to the end of the show. Yeah, that absolutely flew by, didn't it, to oh, be fair? Life. It we've, yeah. been, we've, been the, we've been the Tilton Talk Show, and um, I've been Paul Hipkiss, and it's good night from me, and it's good night from Claire Gibbley. And it's good night from me, and it's good night from Mark Adams. It's good night from me, and it's good night from uh, Alan Watson. And it's good night from me, and a good night from Craig. And it's a good night from me, and if there's one thing to take away before I pass you over to Chris Brown, it's pride, passion, and desire. Three words that we've got to show on Wednesday night and moving forwards. Well done as well to Mark Adams because you actually got the ending correct. Over to you, Chris. Can I add? Can I add concentration uh, to that, Craig? Concentration, yeah. Let's make you four words. <laughs> Alan Watson, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's good night from me. Good night, Abby. Good night, all. Keep Get right on, Abby. Keep right on. Keep right on. Oh yeah, not from Mark. Good luck in the eclipse. <laughs> <laughs>
You want to see the pictures? They're amazing. Are they legal? They're just happy cakes in the dark. <laughs> Mark, can you still see the sky? It's been great with that movie, isn't it? See the sky. We get paid for this. At least we did. Do we get parachute payments? (laughs) (laughs) No, you just get a parachute. (laughs) We're throwing out a plane without one. (laughs) Love you, Mark, but we haven't paid for one of them. Hey, Paul, I want to ask you a question. What's on, always... still... Don't ask me while we're live. Okay. Are we still live? <laughs> are we still live? No, Ralph. Okay.